is your first Alert 5 weather with Mike Daniels. I wanted to start with a big scoop of News 5 eye candy. Take a look at that. That's calendar quality right there. Absolutely stunning. That's Lake Irwin just above Crested Butte. Here it is late July and still a little bit of snow on those ridge tops. Thanks to Farley Photography for posting that up on our Facebook page, KOAA5. We're live on News 5 in Colorado Springs. It's windy and we've got clouds, but most neighborhoods are dry right now. That's live from Pueblo. It's been real windy this afternoon, Pueblo. A lot of outflow boundaries flowing across eastern Colorado. And if you look hard, you can actually see a couple of sprinkles on the camera lens there from Woodland Park, but uh, certainly nothing appreciable. Here's your big weather story. Jumping ahead to Thursday, there it goes cold front. Maybe I should just call it a cool front because there's nothing cold about it, but it'll slip through during the day. Thursday we will have a moist upslope flow at the surface behind that and a little disturbance moving across. That'll provide some energy, some lift in the atmosphere. So on Thursday, we're going to start with plenty of blue sky and sunshine, but by afternoon into the evening hours, I think we'll start to see some thunderstorm activity across the viewing area. Most of those thunderstorms will pop and drop over the higher elevations and here's what will happen. We'll push those things off the mountains across the I-25 corridor, not out of the question to see a couple of thunderstorms produce hail. Certainly a lot of dangerous cloud to ground lightning with those thunderstorms on Thursday. We'll keep you updated on that forecast as you watch during the day tomorrow. Outside right now, not very many uh, hot spots on the radar scan. We're dry in most neighborhoods in Colorado Springs. A couple of sprinkles on the southwest side of town. Also out along uh, Highway 24 getting a few light showers, mainly sprinkles from Falcon out to Peyton. Also that thunderstorm across the Hanover area producing a lot of strong gusty wind. Gusts maybe up to 40 and even 50 miles per hour with that thunderstorm. There is some rain with it and also dangerous cloud to ground lightning as well. Again, stay indoors until that one ends. In Pueblo, dry most neighborhoods getting a couple of sprinkles. The far west side getting a couple of light showers, maybe sprinkles around PP uh, or by, by uh, PMI, I should say. Pueblo Motorsports Park getting a little bit of shower activity that stretches back to the Lake Pueblo. Thunderstorm really produced by these outflow boundaries moving across the area right now. They have a tendency to rain cool air to pop those thunderstorms. Not going to see a whole lot of that uh, continue here for the rest of the night tonight. Everything will shut down after sunset. Tomorrow by 10 a.m. it's already going to be hot. We'll be in the mid 80s. Lots of blue sky and sunshine. Here come the clouds by afternoon and by 2 to 3 could see a few thunderstorms start to develop across parts of the Pikes Peak region. Thunderstorm mainly west of I-25 tomorrow across the higher elevations, but certainly not out of the question to see one or two of those thunderstorms roll off the mountains again across parts of I-25. In Pueblo, hot stuff today. Your high was 98 degrees, missing the all-time record high by just 4 degrees. In the springs, we hit 96. That's hot enough to tie the all-time record high temperature for this date. Outside right now, temps all over the place. We've got 60s up in Woodland Park, 70s in Monument, 80s in the springs, 90s in Pueblo, and still 102. That's the current temperature in La Junta. It's going to be a very warm night tonight. Overnight lows mainly in the 60s here across southeastern Colorado. Of course, a little cooler across the higher elevations. Tomorrow, the last day of July, we'll say goodbye to July with some really hot weather. Winds will not be a problem tomorrow morning, but during the afternoon, look for some strong and gusty wind, especially near thunderstorm activity. Are you ready for some Bronco football? Personally, I've been ready since the middle of February. Tomorrow, no football. Thursday, here we go. Kicking off that Hall of Fame game. Broncos taking on the Falcons. Nice night for football in Canton, Ohio. In Colorado Springs, I've got a daily opportunity for thunderstorms each and every day all the way through next Tuesday. Keep in mind, Thursday is the first day of August. We'll give it a warm welcome at 86 degrees, staying in the 80s all the way through next Tuesday. And for Pueblo, hang tough tomorrow. It's going to be the hottest day of the next seven. Mini cooling trend on the way, but still staying in the 90s for the next week. Thunderstorm opportunities get better, though. At least a chance at one of those passing PM thunderstorms Thursday all the way through the weekend and the early middle part of next week. And for Canyon City, another summer sizzler tomorrow. Then temperatures start to gradually cool down. Thunderstorm opportunities also going up. Monsoon moisture and low-level moisture. That's a good combination for rain. Woodland Park it's the middle of summer and things usually don't change much this time of the year and you can see that right there with that extended forecast a daily chance of thunderstorms temperatures at least cooling into the 70s starting Thursday lasting all the way